Hi, friends. When I was younger, I remember reading a story called Hansel and Gretel. Maybe some of you guys have read that too. In this story, what these two kids did was um, left a trail of breadcrumbs. So they were going to go out into the woods and they didn't want to get lost. So they were super smart and they left a trail of breadcrumbs so that it was easy for them to find their way back home once they were done out in the woods. So we are going to do this today, only we're not going to leave a trail with breadcrumbs. We are going to use post-it notes, okay? Um, in our books, uh, like the stories you guys are reading, they're getting longer and longer. And so it's nice to have a, a trail of post-its so that we can look back and see and remember what the important events were in the story. So we are going to do this today with a new Mercy Watson book. So this one is Mercy Watson Fights Crime. I'm super excited to read it because I know we loved the first Mercy Watson story. So what we're going to do is reflect and pause at the end of each chapter and think about what was the most important thing that happened there. Chapter one. Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Each night, they sing the pig to sleep. Then they go to bed. Good night, my dear, says Mr. Watson. Good night, my darling, says Mrs. Watson. Oink, says Mercy. Most nights, Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Mercy all sleep soundly in their beds. But there was one night when they did not. All right. So this was a pretty short chapter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep reading, and then I'll put, I'll, when once there's an important event, then I'm going to jot that down on a sticky note. Chapter 2. Leroy Ninker was a small man. He was a small man with a big dream. Leroy Ninker wanted to be a cowboy, but in the meantime, he was a thief. He was a thief in the kitchen at 54 Decawood Drive. Leroy Ninker was robbing the Watson. Yippee-yi-yo, sang Leroy. Everything must go. He grabbed hold of the toaster. He pulled it across the counter towards him. Reach, went the toaster. Shh, said Leroy. He tossed the toaster into his bag. Clang, went the toaster. Shh, said Leroy again. All right, so this was the end of chapter two. And there was a, a big event that happened here, and that was the thief, Leroy, is stealing from the Watson's kitchen. So that's what I have put on my post-it note right here. And then I'm gonna stick it right here at the end of this chapter. And then I'll be able to see that important event once I go back and look at the story again. Chapter three. Screech! Mercy woke up. Screech was the sound of the toaster when it was being pulled across the kitchen counter. Mercy Watson loved toast. She particularly loved toast with a great deal of butter on it. Mercy got out of bed. She picked up her ears. She listened. Mercy heard Mr. Watson snoring. She heard Mrs. Watson snoring. Who was downstairs making toast? Mercy went to the top of the stairs. She looked down into the darkness. Clang went the toaster. Clang was the sound the toaster made when Mrs. Watson turned it upside down to clean out all the crumbs. Somebody was making toast. Mercy went down the dark, dark stairs. She headed for the kitchen. So this is the end of our next chapter. So I'm going to pause and think, what was the most important thing that happened in this chapter? I know that Mercy wakes up and then she's wondering who's making the toast. Okay, so this is what I wrote on my post-it note. Mercy is awake and curious about the toaster sounds. So I'm going to stick that right here, leaving a little trail. Chapter 4. Leroy Ninker grabbed the blender. He grabbed the clock. He grabbed the cookie jar. Yippee-yi-yo, he sang as he worked. In you go. He grabbed the juicer. He grabbed the teapot. He grabbed the waffle iron. And then Leroy Ninker heard a noise. He turned around. Yippee-yay, said Leroy. Uh-oh. So here, 
This is super important, this picture of Mercy coming in to the kitchen and she sees Leroy. We don't know what's going to happen or what she's going to think about it. We don't know what he's going to do, but here's what I put for my main event. Leroy sees Mercy come into the kitchen. Uh-oh. So we're going to pause right there. Okay. So next time when we start our reading, we're going to be on chapter five. And before we even start chapter five, we're just going to be able to go through and remember some big events that happened. A thief Leroy stealing. Mercy's awake and is wondering about the sounds. And then Leroy sees Mercy come into the kitchen. So for next time, we'll pick up right there. Um, today, as you guys are reading, I want you to also leave a trail of post-it notes in whatever book you are you whatever book you are reading. So at the end of a chapter or at the end of a couple pages, you can think about what was the big idea that was happening in that part, and then just leave a little post-it note. Okay, here's an example of one I did for Junie B. This is way too many post-it notes. We don't need this many, okay? So just one every couple of pages like I did here. Have fun, and we will keep reading Mercy Watson soon.